As I saw the debt go ahead and, and exceed the amount I was bringing in, I started to feel sicker and sicker inside. Um, I was very ashamed of myself for letting this happen. I wasn't looking for an easy way out. I knew I'd gotten into this trouble. Uh, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to look into it more. I've always been a firm believer in if you can't do something yourself, there's nothing wrong with asking somebody for help that can help you with that. And uh, that's what I found when I was over there. I was in tears. It almost makes me get teared up when I think about it now um, because I was so ashamed of the debt that we had accumulated. Actually, about 2008 was when the pay increases at my work stopped. Um, of course, the economy was a big factor in that, and we were told that uh, we would not be getting any pay increases this year, and the reason being then they wouldn't lay us off. And I was uh, doing okay financially, certainly not putting away money, but we were getting by. and. Uh, some credit card offers came and I thought, hey, great, you know, easy money, I'll be no problems paying it back, it's not going to be a problem, and it tended to um, spiral out of control, basically. Uh, I started using one credit card to pay off another, to pay off another. Uh, credit cards actually became a way of life as far as buying groceries or necessities like gasoline for the car. And I think the aha moment was when I pretty much had a breakdown, started crying, was when I opened one of the credit cards, I don't remember which one it was, but it said they have a box on the bottom right corner. Uh, it says if you pay the minimum amount um, and that's all you pay, it will take you 25 years to pay off this card. It was a knife to the gut. I felt pretty hopeless. I said, we're never gonna get out of debt. And it wasn't just one credit card, it was on probably 10 of them that I was getting these kinds of statements. And I didn't know where to go, I didn't know where to turn. And at that time, the economy was bad everywhere. So I didn't figure there was any help for me. I had purchased a couple books online dealing with how to deal with debt kind of thing. Um, and I tried to call some of the credit card companies and saying, look, I really want to be able to pay you off. I can't make this payment at 29% interest. Is there a way we can negotiate? And I did this for three or four of them and I got turned down by every one of them. Katie attempted to contact her creditors to negotiate lower interest rates and payments. However, Katie wasn't very successful. I don't even remember what caught my eye except something to do with uh, a couple found a way to get $90,000 out of debt. And I thought, ooh, I want to read this, you know, to see what, what worked for them. And immediately the name Green Path caught my eye. When Katie and I sat down, we discussed her situation, what she felt she was struggling with. I reviewed her paperwork. We worked on a budget together. I discussed our debt management program with Katie, and Katie decided to utilize Green Path's debt management services. I do remember as she went through everything and all her papers and did her calculations that the first thing she said to me was, you don't have to declare bankruptcy, but you're very close. I have a plan. She said it's going to take a lot of hard work. She said it's, there's not going to be money left over, um, but I think there's a way that we can make this work for you. And I think we could get all of your credit cards down to less than 5%. Some may actually agree to 0%. And um, then she talked about how that we actually had to start doing the program, uh, the automatic withdrawal from my bank account. Katie let out a sigh of relief because now she knew that there was some type of light at the end of the tunnel, that she would be debt free within a timely fashion. Within six weeks, I remember those creditor calls stopped. They, we no longer got the you know, we need to talk to you about your credit card debt. One thing I had to learn to do, which was really, really hard for me, probably the hardest thing, was I had to pay cash for gasoline. Um, I had always relied on a credit card, Shell credit card, BP, whatever credit card or gas companies are out there. So I had to learn to start budgeting for gas out of my paycheck. Um, my car is 12 years old. I have not 
purchased a new or a used car in 12 years. That was one sacrifice. We just keep our fingers crossed that it's going to keep running. Started borrowing books from the library versus going online to Amazon, which was another credit card I had. I love to go on Amazon.com, buy books. I'm an avid reader, um, so I had to learn to go back to the library. We had to start uh, shopping rather than the grocery store I like to shop at, which was a, a locally owned one here in town. We had to do the Super Walmart, the Meyer. The confidence I had that I'm, I'm going to see an end to all this debt, it's, it's grown exponentially. Um, I have gone from looking at credit card statements that said, it'll take you 25 years or you're never going to pay this off, to if you only pay the minimum amount, which is listed you know, on the left side, you will pay this off in five years or this debt will be paid off in three years. I mean, we're talking single digits. <laughs> I believe Katie is going to do great on a debt management program. She's progressing very well at this time. I only predict success for Katie. I'm looking forward to the day when I can actually start putting away the money that we're paying into GreenPath into an account for other things. GreenPath has given me peace of mind. Um, they were willing to be that party that uh, negotiated for me as far as the creditors and they were able to open the door for me in getting out of debt in five years versus 25 to 30 years.